Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Right now, we are going to be solving this question together. For this lesson, we will be making use of Pythagoras' theorem, seeing as the question requires us to deal with certain triangles, right? Especially a right angle triangle. So let's see how we can apply that over here. Now, we are given a right angle triangle and that the length of a leg, a leg referring to one of the sides which are perpendicular, being 21, and that the lengths of the other two sides are positive integers as well. So given all these criteria, how can we find the least possible value of its perimeter? So we're trying to minimize a certain value over here, right? So let us first draw a triangle, right? A right angle triangle. Let's say one over here, where this is your right angle. Let this side here be 21. And now let these two sides be A and B, where B is our hypotenuse, right? So by Pythagoras' theorem, A squared plus 21 squared should give us B squared over here. Alright, now rearranging these variables over here by bringing A squared to the right, we should have 21 squared equals to B squared minus A squared. At this stage, we should see that this is now a difference of squares and a chance for, you, for us to use our algebraic identity. And therefore, this will give us B plus A multiplied by B minus A. Now, instead of writing 21 squared, I could perhaps take this chance to prime factorize it, seeing as B and A must be integers as well. And therefore, I would get 3 squared multiplied by 7 squared. Okay, so let us assess what we're trying to do over here. Now, we're trying to find the least possible value of its perimeter. And given that the perimeter will be represented by the expression a plus b plus 21, since 21 itself is fixed, we can only minimize the value of a plus b. And therefore, we are actually trying to minimize this. So if I'm trying to make b plus a the smallest, we would try and make b minus a the biggest, right? Of course, within certain boundaries. So how can we begin to do this? Since we only have a few prime factors that we're limited to, we can simply try to guess and check and see which would yield the smallest possible value of the perimeter, all right? So some possibilities to rewrite three squared times seven squared as a product of two factors. We can have one times four for one. We could have three times one for seven, right? We could have seven times 63, right? And we could even have nine times 49, and then of course, 21 times 21. All right, and therefore this would be uh, all your cases over here. And then how do we begin to move on, all right? So first of all, notice that B plus A and B minus A themselves, both the sum as well as the difference must be integers, all right? And now recall that we're trying to make this the smallest over here. So with that in mind, the first one should be out. Looking at three times one, four, seven, that is still pretty big as well. We should be able to reduce it even further. Okay, so now we have three possible candidates. Now, if we were to look at our last row first, this implies that B plus A is 21 and that B minus A is 21 as well, which would imply that A in turn must be zero, which wouldn't make sense in the context of this question, right? Because A is the length of this side and the length of this side can definitely be zero, All right? So therefore the last one is out as well, leaving us with seven times 63, as well as 9 times 49, all right? Now, assuming this were the case, we have B plus A is 63, and B minus A is 7. So let us first see whether we can obtain integer values for B and A first, all right? Adding these two, we have 2B equals to 70, and B will be 35, all right? And then now we can substitute in the value for A, A will give us 28. So yes, we do get integer values, but let us see whether we could obtain any smaller values. Over here, B plus A will be 49, B minus A will be 9, and assuming this were true, 2B will be 58, 
All right, which means B is 29 and therefore A will be 20. So notice that over here, my set of values for A and B are indeed smaller than my set of values over here. And therefore, this is the set of values that we're going to be going with. All right, so based on the working here, you can see that since A plus B is 49, then my perimeter would therefore be A plus B plus 21, which would be 49 plus 21 to give us an answer of 70. And therefore, this would be the least possible value of our perimeter for this question. All right. So just to do a brief recap, all we need to recognize is that since we have a right angle triangle, first thing that should come to mind is the application of Pythagorean theorem, after which crafting this equation here should lead us to realize that we can obtain a difference of squares, which we can then factorize into B plus A and B minus A. Afterwards, it is just rearranging your prime factors to obtain a set of values that would give us the least possible value of B plus A within the boundaries of this question. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.